Why can you start multifamily investing at any level? That's what we're discussing. Hi, I'm Tim Diesel, and this channel is designed to give you tips and strategies in your investing business. If you're a broker, this will definitely help your clients grow their business. All right, so what are we talking about today? Why is it easy to start multifamily investing as opposed to office or warehouse or anything else? Well, some of the answers you know, right? It's easy because let's say you're, well, whatever part of the country you're in, let's just say it's a $500,000 deal. And it's probably easier for you to get your message across if you wanna get maybe a friend or a family member to help you maybe invest in it. Um, that's number one. It's much, much easier to get people on board. You start trying to get someone on board with a warehouse deal or a redevelopment of a hotel, it might be a little tougher. It might be a little more difficult for everyone to swallow, right? Apartments are easier because most people have lived in them. They understand them, they know how the leases kind of work. Maybe they don't know the ins and outs um, or the intricate dealings of everything, but they kind of know how it is, right? You pay your rent on time, you're not allowed to do crazy things, no noise. We kind of get the gist of everything. So the first step is it's easier to get someone on board to help you invest. It's easier to get a bank to help you with a loan. Banks typically do not like to take risks on office or retail or where any other anything other than multifamily property. They like four, five, six units, whatever it is, they'll be they look at that more favorably. So it's easier to get the financing from your lending institution or your partner's investors. Now, number two is management. It's easier to find management. It's not easier to manage the property, but it's easier to find management. Most people are property managers. Maybe they live on the property, they live on site. Uh, it's easier to find a handyman. Maybe your handyman can uh, manage a lot of the property for you if it's not that big. You, um, if it's a 15 unit building, you typically wouldn't get a professional management company, right? It wouldn't make sense. Uh, you, would, you could somehow create a team to manage that property for you. If you have uh, maybe 100 units or more, then you would need something a little more professional, somebody who knows what they're doing. But for the most part, if you're starting out, the dollar size may not be that crazy, but you can typically get in uh, a lot easier. The other thing is owner financing is a lot easier I've found on multifamily than any other asset class. I've tried it with everything and typically it's multifamily is the easiest one to get owner financing on and you can be creative with it. Um, however, maybe 10% down, 20%, whatever your, your structure is. So it's easier to finance and it's definitely easier to, to find management. Not easier to manage, but it's easier to find people to help you manage. Uh, you put something in Craigslist and you say, hey, I need a property manager for a 20 unit building, you will get someone to help you out. Now, you take that same example and you put it into a retail space or an office space, may not get the same caliber uh, of help that you need. So those are a couple of tips where you could start today. You can go out there, you can find property, and you will make a return. Remember, if the deal isn't good enough, the bank typically won't finance you. If you're not covering um, at a 1.25 debt ratio usually or 1.20, and I've done a video, you can go back and watch that video. If you're not covering, the bank will not give you a loan. So there are ways to protect yourself and insulate yourself from uh, disasters that may come up, right? And uh, you're more likely to start your first commercial investment in an apartment building or a multifamily property than an office building. It does happen, they go all over the place, but typically you can start today. Go out there, find a multifamily property. If it's four units, you can get residential. Uh, it's typically not commercial though. If it's five units or more, you can get into a commercial property. You can go ahead and call and you can get your foot in the door and start looking and start seeing what's out there. It's not that difficult at all. Okay, so I wanna share a story with you and it'll kind of maybe give you some perspective on everything. When I was first apartment investing, um, well, when I first started to invest in apartments, I didn't really know what the right information was. Remember, there wasn't a lot of this stuff online back then. And 
when I would look, I would start smaller, right? I would start with um, maybe a eight unit or a 10 unit. Well, the first thing I would do is I would call the broker and I would say, hey, give me some information about this. Um, and in some cases, you'd contact the owner, right? Because it would be, uh, maybe the owner was the guy representing uh, the property or whatever the case is. And I would ask them, hey, what are you guys looking for? How'd you come up with this value? And after um, some analyzing on my end and everything, I'd say, okay, well, I can come up with this. I probably only need 10, 20% down. Well, banks used to do 90% financing, 95% financing in commercial. I'm not saying that was a good idea, but they made it easier for people to get into these properties. And my very first experience with this was it's very it's easier to get into these commercial properties um, the bigger properties because I saw so many people paying rent as opposed to a single-family home it just made a lot more sense to me and now I know lending has changed a little bit but you can still get financing it's not as easy as it was but that's kind of what made it simple for me. So even a million dollar deal, uh, if you think about it, you really only need $250,000 to put down, right? But you don't need to come up with all of it. Maybe you could come up with half of that or maybe 50,000 or whatever the number is. Maybe you can get some partners. You don't have to come up with any money. I've done deals where I haven't come up with any money at all. So it just kind of depends on how you structure it. But it's such an easy um, stepping stone because you could yourself go out there, market um, uh, some of the vacant units, you can show it to some of the tenants, you can start filling it up and you can save some of that property management cost. I've also done a video for you uh, about leasing. That's kind of how I first got started, just leasing other people's apartments. And you can make pretty decent money on it. But if it's your property, you're not gonna charge yourself. It's a good way to get started. All right, my question for you is, what's stopping you from going out there and making an investment today? All right, guys, like this video, subscribe to this channel, especially if you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching.